Timberlands. I used to watch this show about this part of the main calm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm also on the wood start news. Um Hello! Hey. Well, you're probably pretty confused and that's fine. It's to be expected. But look, I have to explain all this constantly and I don't really care to do it again. I'd say I do it hundreds of times a day, but time doesn't really exist here. So, mm -hmm. look, all you need to do is walk outside into the hallway and into your first trial. Your body will be reenacting events exactly as they had occurred before. Simply put, your free will won't exactly be that free okay. anymore. Okay. So I'll be watching door. you so I can tally up your score, but right. fair warning, go? I typically okay. deal with the... Um, Let's just say the people I judge typically score on the okay. lower end. So <laughs> have Can fun with go? that on your mind. So you understand what you're supposed to do? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you can't respond. I've set all this up so I you can't talk. It. I know, I know, it seems a bit harsh, but if you had to listen to people panicking for eternity, <laughs> you'd get pretty sick of it too. Oh, where am I? What's oh going gosh, on? I want to see my so family. Much. It gets annoying. Can I go? You know, it's almost like no one even reads the sign I put up. All right, enough talk. I see it. Head out into the hall and start your first trial. Let's get this over. All right, with. all right, all right. You talk way too much. Okay. So, okay. So I see my go through door one first. Oh. How are you holding up, Evelyn? not looking too hot. No, I, I'm fine. Just... Looking at this makes me feel sick. I'll do this one. Yeah, it's hard the first few times. You're not a real investigator until you don't puke on the body. <laughs> Matt. Ugh. Mm. Let's talk about anything else. Did so you this is a body? No, not I yet. So. I'll check it out. Try not to lose your lunch while I'm at it. <laughs> Who are you talking Very to? funny. I need to check out that report to see what I'm working with. Okay. I think I left it on the hood of the cruiser. The hood of the cruiser. Uh, what was that? The hood of the cruiser. Okay, here it is. It says here that someone driving nearby heard a gunshot at the location. When they came to check it out, they saw the body. Only one shot was heard. No assailant has been identified. Not much more to go off of. Okay. What does it say? Just that some people heard a gunshot and saw the body. I'm not working with much. Okay. You hang tight. So I'm going to have a look around. So I have to check uh, this. Well, Ellen has a long ways to go, but I think she's going to do well on the force. Mm -hmm. Almost promising. Looks like someone had a bad day. Just oh, there's too much going on. Blood only time. seems to be corridors on head, so there likely wasn't much of a struggle. Mm -hmm. Oh, and would you I'm look confused. at that? Someone left a trail of blood. Okay. I should take a look at this body too while I'm here. Mm -hmm. So this is number three. So am I missing? I, I'm assuming I skipped over mm -hmm. two and one. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Okay, so there's a knife here. Okay. This knife has blood on it. Fresh blood. Oh, that's number two. Had to have been used in whatever altercation happened here. So... Yeah. What would number one be? Let's check inside of this house first. I'm gonna go down that path. I just wanna check and see if there's something going on first. Oh! oh. oh. Jesus Christ, it smells like shit in here. <laughs> Feel like a dead body? Whoever lived here wasn't too keen on keeping the place tidy. So there's medication. Can I examine it? No. There's medication. Shotgun. 
So this guy, I'm, well, obviously he's a cop. This guy was definitely prepping for something. Cans of food, water jugs. I don't really think it's relevant to the case, though. Okay. Is that a bullet lit hole? So, oh. uh, that? Looks thing? like a list of clients. So this Whatever happened outside could be a deal gone wrong. Like a drug dealer? If you ever lost, press L3. Okay, so there is nothing in this room. Okay, so let's go down this path and follow the blood. I don't know where number one would be. Oh, no, that's the door I came in, huh? Or is that the door I came in? I don't know. Uh, Max is sharp. Good for chopping wood, but I don't think it was used in the murder. Probably not. Okay, so here's some more blood. So that person over there, um, they came down. They had to have come like this way, and then like just fell down there. After getting stabbed, shot, I don't know. A... Okay, so they got popped. There's a gun here. Looks like this handgun was discarded, and rather hastily at that. It's number five. It's safe to assume this was used at the scene. So I got two, three, and five. I missed some stuff. But we'll find it. Let's follow this blood. Oh, there's... Some money? Well, we may just have found a motive. Four hundred dollars cash. Why toss it away? That's a good question. Why would somebody toss money? Um probably Dang, like I don't know why you would toss money. I can't I can't think of a reason. We're gonna find out. That's some pills? I mean, if you're on the run, you would need it. So pills. You would throw it away. Not the cheap stuff either. Strong. Some people would pay good money for this. Oh. The blood trail heads into that cave. I need to be careful. So, is that a person? Poor bastard. He's got a stab wound in his abdomen. It's deep, okay. too. He most so, likely died from blood loss. Probably not too long after crawling in here. So that person got stabbed and then they like, I don't know, I'm trying to piece it together. Obviously there was two people, somebody got popped, Who, whose gun was it then? Oh, okay, 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 so like, at the beginning, so somebody got popped and somebody got stabbed. And the person who got popped, because if this person got stabbed, the other person got popped. I honestly, I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to piece it together. I'm trying to figure it out. Bro, you good? Shit. 
Okay. I, I need to focus back on the investigation. Yeah. <sighs> Bro. Okay, so something they right with homeboy. Was that was that his pills? Does he have something to do with this? Are these my pills? Can I... How did I miss this that? This casing belongs to a nine millimeter oh, bullet. That's I a don't bullet. see a that's weapon a around here though. Oh, okay, so I kind of did this backwards. I did this backwards. I don't know how I missed a whole item on the ground. I never Nailed took a picture of the body. His early thirties. Oh my god! With a bullet hole in his head, I'd have to say he died from a gunshot wound. Looks like the bullet went straight through. All right, I think that should about do it. Oh my god. I should reconvene with Evelyn before we head back to the precinct. Okay. I'm done, Evelyn. Evelyn? Ev Evelyn? Hey, Ev. Okay. Hey, Matthew. Did you find everything you need? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So, what do you think happened? If you don't mind me asking. Well, I'm gonna need to review a lot of it, but here's my theory. Our friend here on the ground came here to get his hands on some pills. Maybe during the deal, he had the bright idea that maybe he could leave with his pills and his money. So he took a gamble and stabbed his dealer. Mm -hmm. In turn, the dealer acted in self-defense and shot the guy, killing him. Scared, the dealer grabbed everything and ran, or mm -hmm. at least got away as fast as he could with a stab wound. He tried okay, to discard the evidence as he went, but he didn't really have time to hide it. He got to the cave before realizing he couldn't get any further, so that's where he stopped, bleed out, and die. Oh, Jesus. Right. Again, that's just my theory. There'll be a whole lot more of you, and it's just a whole process. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Matt? Yeah? Can I ask you a question? Sure. What's up, Ev? Why? Why do you think this happens? What do you mean? A drug deal gone wrong? No. No, just these people. Why do they resort to this? It just seems like some people don't see right and wrong. Maybe I'm just being naive, but I can't put myself in that headspace. Killing another person by choice? Hmm. Like you gotta do what you gotta do. Evelyn. I don't know if anything brings them to Give it. That kind of life. Don't worry about it. It may just be that way. Don't worry about Hardwired it. Hardwired to do wrong. I don't know. I don't have much remorse for them. They've done bad. In okay. my eyes, if you do something wrong, you deserve what's coming to you. You can't start sympathizing for them. That's when you start getting bad at your job. Yeah. What? Yeah, that makes sense. No, it don't. All right, let's get back in the cruiser, head back to the precinct. I need to sort through all of this. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Right behind you. Hurry up, get in the car. I didn't agree with what he just said. You don't get bad at your job because you... I don't know. I, 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 I just disagree. Okay. Hello? You know, a police officer is definitely not what I expected from you. A man of the law. So yeah, being a member this? of the police force doesn't exactly what? say much about your character, but it is a job aimed at keeping peace. Supposedly. Oh boy, I cannot wait to see how you screwed all of this up. Oh? Well, hey, don't stop on my accord. Head on out into your second trial. Okay, so I'm a cop who messed up? Okay, so I did that one, so let's go into door two. And this looks like my home. Okay, let's get a little light in here. Okay, so I see. That's better. Okay. All right, I need to get some work done. I have a baby. Now I need to check my email. Okay. Definitely need to get my bills paid, too. Good thing Joseph's asleep. That'll make things easier. Joseph must be my baby. My son. 
what did he say? He needs to check his email and pay some bills. So, why am I in the kitchen? Laptop would be... Uh, if it's not... Oh, what are you playing? Is that Xbox? Uh, laptop has to be upstairs soon. If it is not downstairs. Just an old closet. I don't need anything in there at the moment. Okay. Where's your room at? That's the bathroom. This is... I need to be quiet. Oh, the baby's room. Joey's sleeping. This is my room. It's my laptop. Damn it. Another pay cut. I might need to take a second job. Uh-oh. Uh, hello, officers and detectives. As you all know, the government has been continuously cutting, f cutting fu uh, f funding for most all government job sectors. While it's not my place to give you opinions or speculate why, it's my job to inform you as the situation evolves. With that said, you should expect to see another cut in your paycheck in the next coming weeks. In the coming weeks, this is out of my hands. I will try to give out some additional resources. You can turn to if things become difficult in light of the lack of income. Please contact me if you have any questions about the issue. Dang, so he's losing money. We still got bills to pay and out here cutting paychecks, okay. Oh, I'm looking for bills. Next. Uh, oh, well don't play that, the baby's sleeping. This was definitely Anna's record. She loved this band. I personally think they're garbage. Never understood it. Who's Anna? This is, is that his wife? This. Oh. Did Anna, did Anna like die? God, I remember when I first joined the force. That was a long time ago. So where are the bills of my guitar? <laughs> Man, I haven't played in a while. Play. I remember I wrote this song me and Anna used to sing to Joseph before he was born. So Anna must be his wife and she must have passed away. Can I not turn that off? Okay, yeah, because the baby's sleeping, bro. We gotta be quiet. Uh, bills wouldn't be in the baby's room, so let's go back downstairs and check to see what the bills are. Um, table, no, that's a newspaper. Um, there was nothing in the living room on the counter, on um, the table. So let's check in the kitchen. Where are the bills at? That's some keys. What's this? The newspaper. Oh, here's the bills. Past due. Dang, bro. How the hell am I supposed to keep this up? Especially with all these budget cuts. I may need to start prioritizing what to pay for. Yep, gotta start budgeting. If they start cutting stuff, you gotta figure out. Uh oh. Shit. Joey's awake. Let's There's go gotta be the something I can do to settle him down. Oh, the guitar, perhaps, <laughs> the baby. Uh, I need to something to get him back to sleep. Um, oh, yeah, let me go get that guitar real quick. Uh-uh. Oh. Well, yep. this is a long shot, but... Let's play him a song. Mom, what? Ooh, yeah. Play that. There we go. There we go. Baby boy. Oh. Don't cry. Cause I'm right here by your side. Everything's alright. Cause when I'm Still be all the same. <laughs> there 
That seemed to do it. Okay, that's cute. Okay. Love you, buddy. Aw, okay. What's next, bro? Oh, the top is light. Oh, no, nope, turn it off. Um, okay. Uh oh. What do I do? My pills. They in here? My pills. They in here? There they go. Oh my gosh. Oh, shit. I'm running low on pills. Why do they have to be so expensive? Oh, you know, he can't even afford it because. Okay, okay. His bills getting his paycheck. I need to take it easy. What kind oh, of. Maybe I'll just head downstairs and see what's on TV. Alright, bro. What kind of sickness? Uh oh. What kind of sickness does he have? Well, that was it. Okay, so he's a cop. Who is... Oh, I'm okay. So you know what? Things aren't actually looking too bad for you so far. I mean, <laughs> I'm almost tempted to say you might not end up scoring too low. Almost. I handle all the bad people, remember? So, what have we learned? Stuff going on. A police officer, a single father. What happened to, uh, what's her name? Anna? Yeah. I wonder. Well, it's not really in my jurisdiction to know about that. We're here to focus on you, my friend, and as much as I hate to say it, there hasn't really been anything I could justify docking your points for yet. Okay. Plus, you do really seem to care about that kid. I think I need to learn a little bit more about you, who you really are, where your mind's at. Step into the next room. Okay. I, I want to test something. All right, let's go. So did his wife... Oh. Did his wife just, like, dip or did she die? I wonder. What's this? Is it going to ring? You see, I don't think I know enough about you. Yet. I want to learn who you are. Get inside of your head. So here's your job. There are two philosophers who have interesting theories about morality and ethics. They're the two guys you're looking at now, Emmanuel Kant and Jeremy Bentham. They each came up with their own idea of what a good action is. Kant proposed the idea of deontological ethics. By his model, all actions are inherently good or bad, regardless of their consequences. Mm -hmm. Now let's use the trolley dilemma as an example. A trolley is going to run over five people who are tied to the tracks. If you change the direction of the trolley, it would only hit one person. Kant would argue that you don't change the trolley's direction. Sure, five people will die, but you didn't have any direct input on it. If you change the trolley's direction, that one death was caused by you. You committed an immoral action regardless of the outcome. Okay. Jeremy Bentham, on the other hand, would disagree. Bentham proposed the idea of utilitarianism. By his ideology, the right or moral decision is the one that results in the most good. The outcome is more important than the action itself. He would say that you steer the trolley to hit the one man. Sure, you were directly involved in his death, but more people survive than would have otherwise. Hmm. All you need to do is tell me who you agree with, Kant's deontological method or Bentham's method of utilitarianism. Where do your morals lie? Personally, I'm just curious who tied uh, everyone to the tracks. There are much more efficient ways to kill people if I that was think... your goal. Anyways, push the button in front of the portrait of who you agree with most. All right, After go. that, head All out right, into go. the hallway. Your next so, trial will be I waiting. mean, both of them make sense. You know, I could. But I feel like if you have the option to save people, you should... I don't know, heck, I'm just gonna agree with homeboy right here, um, Jeremy, I don't know, that's a hard question, but I think that Jeremy makes the most sense, so let's go, how many doors, how many doors are there, just out of my curiosity, seven, eight, about nine, okay, so let's do, let's do up to four, Okay, well, maybe five. All right. 
Time to get some work done. I should check and see if I have any reports to take care of today. Okay, I have to find my desk. Officer. What is my name? <laughs> I don't even know what my name is on this game. Emmanuel. Let's just check every desk. Is that my phone? Is this my desk? This is my desk. What's my name? Good see. Look at that. My name is Matthew. Doesn't okay. look like I'm assigned to anything at the moment. I should go down to evidence and check on that forest case. Okay. Okay, yeah. So my name is Matthew P. Detective Matthew P. I am a detective. This is the bathroom. Uh, evidence? Oh, he's like, go down to evidence, so I need to get into the elevator. Can I go here? Oh, I don't want to talk to him. Okay. Alright, we're down to evidence. Yeah, down to evidence. So I'm assuming there's four. doing here? Who let you in? Oh, uh, hi, Matt. I was just checking back on what we found on the forest case. You know you're not supposed to be here, right? Plus, how'd you get in without a key? Oh, I I'm sorry. I just told security I was working with you and they let me in. Uh, there that's suspicious. There wasn't a ton of fuss about it. Yeah, security has fallen behind a bit. Mm -hmm. It's these damn paycheck cuts. It's okay. You can hang out in here if you want. I was actually here for the same reason. Well, I laid out the photos back in the corner. I assume that's your desk? Oh, yeah. Thanks. I'll check it out. And, hey, don't mess with anything else in here, okay? Wouldn't dream of it. Relax, bro. That's suspicious that she was in here, though. What she was doing. Yeah, I still think my theory stands. Gunman was the one dead in the cave. He died from a stab wound inflicted by our initial victim. All just a drug deal gone bad. Ugh, I still feel awful for them. Don't. They got themselves in that position. True. I... I guess. Good. You can't let that stuff get to you. I'm gonna head upstairs. You should probably get out of here before somebody says something. Okay, yeah. I'll be out in just a bit. He sounds like a super insensitive cop. Like, I feel like, under, I agree that you're not supposed to, like, let yourself get, like, too wrapped into cases and stuff, but, like, I feel like it's not good to lose your sensitivity to stuff. I don't know. Because, like, then you're just like, uh-oh. Huh? Oh, shit. Not now. Wasn't supposed to call me yet. I need to take this somewhere private. Can I go in here? You shouldn't lose your sensitivity to stuff, I feel like. I mean, that's when you start to be like... What's the word? You just like lose yourself. So I wouldn't want to be a cop because... You just get like, you saw this horrible stuff and it's just like, oh, death. Uh, where do I go? I was ringing a long time. Uh, let's go in the men's bathroom. Anybody here? Charlie, I told you not to call me at work. I gave you my schedule. Oh, and you think you have the authority to tell me when to call? I don't give a shit where you are. If I call you, you pick up the goddamn phone. What do you need? See, that's more like it. What I need is what we discussed. Somebody you still need listen. the money, right? Yeah, I just. I don't like it. Well, tough shit. 
Oh. Think about it like this. After a few jobs, we cut our ties, and you leave with just enough cash to make all your problems just go away. Listen here. I know all about the government job pay cuts, and I know without this money, you Where is it? William and Son's bar. My boys will have been in and out. Be in the case. And hey, remember, you're doing this for the kid. Dang. <sighs> William and Sons. Okay. I need to get back to work. This never happened. Dang. So I'm a crooked cop. I'm a crooked cop. Because, not because I'm a bad person, but because they cut my checks. See, now this is what I was expecting. You're a bit sketchier than you let on. This will be entertaining. Taking suspicious jobs, working for the seedy underbelly of your society. You're just a basic crooked cop. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I hate to say it, but I was almost rooting for you. I thought you may be the one good person I had. Oh well. Also, Bentham was an interesting choice. I mean, that's what most people would say, but in practice... Anyways, you've got more trials and I've got more life to judge. Let's get a move on. Alright. Wow, Dane, so I'm... I'm a cricket cop. Okay, so we just did door three. I believe we're gonna do door four. Yeah. This will probably be the last So, thing. what's the damage? Armed robbery. According to the statement from the bartender, three men in masks came in and ransacked the place. Took everything they could. Cash register was completely emptied. So was the safe. Do you have anything to go off of? Well, the barman said he shot one of the men in the leg, but no one was killed. They all got away. That's not much. Hey, did you bring that UV light with you? Oh, yeah, I got it right here. Good thinking. Hey, I, I was thinking, maybe I could help you. No, no, you'd better just stay back. I can get all this sorted out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just, uh, be right here. All right. Let's get this over with. Okay, I'm trying to talk. Uh, so she is my partner, Evelyn, and she is a good cop. And I'm a crooked cop. And I have to hide the fact that I am a crooked cop from her. However, she's probably gonna catch on. The heck? Fingerprints. I'll need something to clean these up with. You got no handkerchief? Damn it. Why did the bar owner lock up? to get this door unlocked. He knew we were coming. He had to have left a key around here somewhere. Oh, there's another handprint. Okay, let me find a key. Can I get it? What kind of bathroom has no mirror? I need to find a key to get into the doors. Why would they hide a key here? God, could these guys have at least made an attempt to be clean? William and Sons on the doctor. Take all the money. Bartender is armed. Safe is in the office. Code is seven three six five. We have a guy on the left on the scene, but don't get sloppy. That's me. I'm the guy. <laughs> Okay. So my job here is to clean up their crime scene. I'll turn it off. Thank you. It's a whole gun right here. Handgun. PM40 model. This must have been the bartenders. I don't think I need to bother with it. Hmm. This could be useful. Like. Okay. Let's check the restroom again. There's no towel in here or nothing? You can't use that toilet paper? 
Yeah, I can use that. Okay. Is there something in here? No. Okay, so let's go clean up some handprints. There was one over here. On the seat. So this. Okay. Um. Uh, anything else? What's that? Oh. That's a little chalk tip. For the. Uh. <laughs> what's that thing called? Pull stick. Oh, is this money? Can I... Looks like your guys dropped something, Charlie. You really need to get some better goons. Wow, so he's really over here cleaning the, t the crime scene up. Oh, a key. Uh, looking over here. Whoa, girl. Okay, and then there was a handprint on the counter right here okay, let's get in here check the safe for prints oh look all these prints clean as a whistle uh, the desk Nothing, nothing. Wait, is there like fingerprints on okay. Some taps. Oh, fingerprints. Oh, Charlie, next time have your guys wear gloves or something. What am I missing? Okay, I need two more things. How she not see him cleaning up all this stuff though? Why aren't you, like, investigating, too? Like, why are you just standing there? Okay. Who said that? Uh-oh. Shit. Get your pills, bruh. Okay. You can't get caught. Okay. I'll be. You can't get caught okay. in front of your... Oh, let me take my stuff. In front of my co-worker. Together, you can't be out here passing out in a job. How close the door? Is there anything like behind the door? There's nothing in here. I guess not. Anything in the toilet? Ugh. Nope. Okay. What am I missing? Oh! It's right here. Okay, so there's one more. How's she not see me do that, though? She's right there. Oh! Right in front of my face. Blood. Alright. Okay. I think that's everything. I should talk to Evelyn. Okay. After she saw me hide all that stuff. All right, I think we're done here. Did you find anything worthwhile? Uh, no, actually. Hmm. What? How is that even possible? Uh, I don't know. I just, I'm cricket. I couldn't find anything. That, that can't be right. Let me take a look. No, it's fine. I looked everywhere I could. And don't there worry was about nothing. it. Okay. Don't worry about it, yeah. sweetheart. Let's get back to the cruiser. I'll take you home before I head back to the precinct. Yeah. Okay. Oh, see? She don't believe me. Okay. No one's here. Good. Okay, so I'm back at the police department? To do what? To 
destroy I'm here to destroy evidence bruh I'm like super crooked to burn money why oh I'm burning the evidence that I found uh oh I'm, I'm crooked crooked yep wouldn't the fire de detector go off that I'm caught. I guess not. I'm crooked, crooked. Okay. So I'm gonna stop here. Um, this game is really interesting. It's a pretty good story, so I'm a crooked cop and I'm just doing crooked things because I'm broke <laughs> and I have somebody paying me. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, please go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, comment down below if you want to see me continue. Uh, I think there's like, there were like 10 doors and I did 4. So yeah, if you like it, I'll continue it. Uh, I'll probably finish it up and I will see you guys in the next one.